Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-June 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. <clears throat> Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Five of Cups. So there's some stuff going on here. I'm not sure what kind of stuff, but this energy right here depicts a little bit of sadness, a little bit of regret, a little bit of an energy from the past, potentially. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Queen of Swords crossed by the Temperance card. I mean, you're very determined to stay patient throughout everything. So kind of keep your cool, keep your patience there. Um, in your focus, the tower, that's an energy that wouldn't keep anybody patient, but so I don't know what's going on. Something shaky is at play here for you. Uh, I don't know what kind of shaky, but I mean, as long as your intention is to keep cool through it, you'll probably achieve that. In the recent past, the moon, well, that's your energy right there. Um, plus a sense of things not being revealed yet over there over here i feel like they're starting to be revealed um in your strength the ten of wands you're showing up quite strong here in the sense of yeah things are shitty potentially things are tough things are hard uh but you're coming out quite able to handle whatever this is which that's true for most of us you know we're never given more than we can handle um not to say give it to me universe you know i'm i'm um, I'm waiting for the toughest of the toughest to come my way. No, not really. But uh, something, something's happening. Something's going down here. In the immediate future, the judgment card, some decisions may uh, come into play here. Supporting this reading, the three of cups. It's not only you that's keeping yourself st stable. There's an energy of... Um, it almost feels like, can we go through this? Like a we part. Like there's something else, someone else attached to you at this point or to the situation. So there's a sense of keeping it steady for you, but keeping it steady for you, you. Um, I don't know. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Page of Wands, I feel like kind of get the sense that this is speaking to your inner child so it could be that that's coming through a lot for you in the sense of what's helping you to keep things you know like lighten up a little bit uh the energy rather than feed it off especially if it's a tough energy ah. in your hopes and fears the four of pentacles there's a sense of stubbornness here almost like not wanting to let go of something and for the potential outcome, the King of Pentacles. With this one, things feel quite steady, grounded. Like all of this swirling energy is finally grounded. Okay, let's see. Do not dare to jump on my table, because I know you. And I'm not going to have an easy time to get you off my table. I know you want to jump somewhere. Go, watch the birds. Yeah, over there. Anyways, for the Five of Cups, you get the Eight of Swords, the Sun, the Ace of Pentacles. You, see, because you carry this positive attitude, too, of, you know, no matter how hard it gets, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So you're looking at the positive sides here, or you're trying to, at least. There's definitely someone here that does that. Um, and it feels like energies that are at play for the situation are very pressing. But... uh there's one you or someone you're dealing with that um has a positive attitude you know or tries to keep one throughout let's do the queen of swords you get the seven of cups the seven of pentacles the three of cups yeah there's somebody else here for sure at least one other energy if not more um 
And I feel like this is you, like you're at the core of this. You're the one that kind of keeps the boat from not flipping over kind of a thing, you know? Um, and you're coming up with all sorts of ways to do that. So kind of keeping it together, not only for you here. Um, let's do the temperance card. The king of swords, the king of cups, the queen of wands. Yeah, there's multiple energies involved here. I don't even know who's who, why, how many. I just see a lot of cooks in the kitchen there. Um, this almost feels like a family dynamic kind of a situation. And it's like everybody's... But everybody's well-intended. That's the good thing. The bad thing, which I don't know what that is, but something's shaky here. I don't know what the bad thing is, if there even is one. It's just a lot of commotion, a lot of energy all of a sudden. Uh, in this one, it seems like you're at the core of it, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but you're the one that's keeping this ship steady. For the tower and your focus, you get the Seven of Swords, the Temperance card, the Chariot. Yeah, and there's been times in which you just wanted to give up this role um, of keeping it together for everybody involved. It's like it's too hard. And, and it, right now, it's it seems to be one of those times of, I just want to quit. Can I quit? I'm done. I'm done here. I'm, I'm just going to... I'm done. Uh, I don't see this energy lasting for too long. Like, I see you being in this for like five minutes and then, okay, here we go again. You know? Because it, it doesn't even have to be something nasty going on. It's just that it's a lot of energy. I don't know what it is, what you're handling it, what, what you have on your plate. But it's a full plate, that's for sure. You know? So, let's do the moon in the recent past. The Page of Cups, the Magician, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like, like you've been offered the plate. Here, it's your plate. You need to take care of this plate. Uh, by the universe, almost. And I hate to tell you this, but you asked for it. Um, I, see, I see you conversing with the universe, and the universe being like, okay, here you go. You're like, okay, thank you. I think I can handle this. And you can. It's not that you can't. It's just, it's, it's a lot. Sometimes it's quite a lot. I may do the Ten of Wands. You get the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Hangman. Don't let it get to your head, though, you know, because um, you do have it here. And you are somehow responsible for holding it together. Just don't take it as it's me. I'm keeping this whole shit together because if it wasn't for me... Something, something, you know? Um, don't let it get to your head. Keep steady, keep humble through this experience as much as you can. It is you. You are at the center of this somehow. Um, and it is hard sometimes, but I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, but it's, uh, I just see the energies there. It's like, whoa, that's a lot of responsibility to take on. But, um, in the um, immediate future for the Judgment card, you get the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like there are some decisions that are coming through here to be made, um, which are not going to please everybody involved. Because again, I kind of get the sense that there's multiple energies involved here. Um, but the decisions are coming from a place of just knowing what's best for everybody involved, even if they might not like it, not all of them. You know, so I feel like when you enter this place of making these decisions, you know exactly how to go about it. Um, let's do the three of cups. The queen of swords, the eight of wands, the five of pentacles. There's going to be some cutting off of some energies here, which... Not exactly sure what that means, but um, it feels like again you're in charge. You're you're just think of it as you're the boss, and um, you're hiring or you're letting people go. You know those kinds of things. It's, it's, it's like you take you give kind of a thing, and this this is how it looks like it's going to be spread out. Where there's there's going to be some cutoffs to some energies. 
um, oh, man, because I, I see once that happens, um, I see some energies coming down in like, you know, they're upset or something. But I also see the energy behind all of it where it's like, well, those are the best decisions for everybody involved, even if they don't see that in the moment. Um, huh. Let's do the page of wands. For the hidden energy, the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Star. Yeah, you, you have the tendency to take it, like even if the situation is big and serious, you have the tendency to kind of have fun with it too, not not be so sturdy about it and so uh, kind of loosening up it, the, the energy a little bit because it is, it is tense. I don't know. There's some changes here. There's some stuff going on. There's some... some things being implemented and some things getting eliminated i don't know um but that's kind of a self-imposed energy to lighten up a little bit so it's coming from you a sense of you know we don't have to be so serious about this uh in the sense of oh my god it's life and death kind of a situation because it, it truly isn't there's just some energies trying to be established and put into place basically did you get last time some sort of restructuring kind of a was it you or it was one of the water signs for sure i'm not sure if it was you because this kind of plays along that but anyways for the four of pentacles in your hopes and fears you get the high priestess the wheel of fortune the king of wands You got a good feeling about someone, one of these energies. I don't know how many there are. I don't know who this is, who this is, who that is, who everybody is. I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea. But there's one energy in particular that um, you got a good feeling about. And that's the energy that you're refusing to let go of. I feel like that's the closest to you and how you would perceive it. And how you, let's say, it is a job. And let's say, you know, you've own this business for like 20 years and whoever this is is the most loyal one like they've been there from day one and they're they're there all the time or something like that you know um you got a good feeling about this one and it feels right it feels like you're right about your good feeling you know you're going with gut instinct here about one particular energy and this is the one energy that um definitely sticks around for whatever kinds of changes or moves are happening here this this is one where you're like you stay right here please thank you very much king of pentacles you get for the potential outcome you get the four of swords the nine of swords the two of swords it's like when everything's said and done when the dust settles <laughs> you're like starting to breathe again you're taking it you're taking a break to breathe. You're like, oh, okay, it's done, you know? And when you do that, you immediately start to overthink things, to start to question things. Was that right? Did I do this right? Did I? Doubt kind of sets in. It's kind of like it allows you the time to just be for a little bit with everything that just went on. And for some reason, you're starting to take it up here and doubt the process. Right now, you don't have the time to doubt anything because you're in the middle of getting shit done you know but the minute you take a little bit of time once everything's said and done it's like Ooh. the way i see it and the way you're handling things through this the energy seems right you know for how you're handling things for some reason you're starting to stress about it the minute you have two minutes for yourself after everything's said and done um so pay attention to that and it's when you get to that point it's all done what are you going to do about it you can't change it um even if you did try to you know turn back around some energies it's still not going to be the same because it's it's all done so it's like why put yourself through that process of doubting and thinking and you know Seems, everything seems in place even though it's a little bit chaotic because there's too many energies it's like it's it's been a while since i've seen so many energies in one reading 
um it's hard to say that 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 who the, the coordinating energy for the most part is definitely you but um there's there's quite the stuff happening from the universe you get the lovers the knight of cups the eight of wands and i feel like you also have um quite the support next to you here uh which comes through a lot through one particular connection that's closest to you um maybe this one that you're not letting go of i don't know but it's important to keep honest and uh potentially talking through the process with whoever this is there's one connection that's super important to you and the closest to you and it feels like it's one of those that allows you to open up honestly honestly about pretty much anything so try to keep that sense of you know whatever you're doing whatever steps you're taking you know it's it's probably good a good idea to to keep it open towards this energy as well look this is what's happening you know not necessarily hey do you think that's good or do unless you feel like it you know um but just put that energy out as well uh don't only internalize it and kind of go doing things and not just keeping it to yourself there you know so okay let's do the messages from the universe you get if you find yourself constantly seeing recurring numbers or words it is a sign that you are being supported cared for and divinely protected by the universe beautiful things are about to happen to you yeah it does feel like you're on the you're on the right path here with whatever this is you know so anyways that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye